Hi guys, Doka Gaming here and welcome back to another video. First of all, apologies for this video coming out so long after my Q400. Uh, as always, I've got work commitments, family commitments. Uh, you know I don't do this full time. So I try to get um, as much time as I can to do these videos and it's not always easy. So, uh, But there you go. So today we are going to do a video on EasyDoc. I know a lot of people have been asking me to do a video. Um, I know there's a lot of videos out there. A lot of other flight simmers have done easy dock videos. Um, but I will show you what I do. I will show you how I set mine up. Um, again, this is like all my videos. This is how I do it. I'm not saying it's the right way. I'm not saying it's the wrong way. Um, it's just what I like doing. Um, so yeah. Hopefully um, you can learn something um, and I will see you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. So, EasyDoc. Like I said, I'm just going to show you what I use, how I set it up. Uh, fairly straightforward. This video isn't how to um, install EasyDoc from scratch. Um, it is really straightforward, guys. The link is below. Uh, look on that link. It shows you step by step um, how to um, set EasyDoc up or install it. You can use it on FSX Classic, FSX Steam, and P3D. Um, I'm sure there will be a, somebody who does a video on it for version three. I know version three is coming out soon. Well, there's a lot of talk about it. So, yeah. Just uh, just go through those instructions below, and they are very easy. Um, okay, so first of all, I want to just show you all the settings, um, and then we can actually go on to how to set up each camera for inside the plane and then outside the plane. So EasyDoc just sits on your add-ons, uh, EasyDoc camera add-ons, and then Show Studio. Um, as you can see, we've got Virtual Cockpit, which is obviously inside the plane. Then we've got aircraft, uh, side, uh, the aircraft, and then world. Um, I don't use world. I don't think anybody uses world. Um, yeah, so I'm not even going to talk about that and even worry about that. So, Okay, so first thing we need to do is go to options. Uh, I'm going to go through these sort of not in order. Um, but the first thing you want to do is your joystick configuration. So... I have set my up on my yoke. You guys know that I use a Cessna yoke. So where it says uh, J1, um, I've uh, you've got your different options in there. So if you guys are using a uh, a joystick or using something else, just choose it in there. So I'm using my Cytec Pro Flight Cessna yoke, and I use the hat switch on my yoke. So that's why I've got um, the button ticked. So hat switch as a button. Okay. So that's what you want to do first is config your joystick. So whatever you're using, just make sure it's in joystick one. And if you're using the hatch on your yoke or your joystick, then make sure that is ticked. Okay. Fairly straightforward. Second of all, you want to go to define keys and buttons. Okay. So. Let's do um, the cycle view first. So as I said to you, I use, to change my views, I don't use my keyboard to change my views. I do use the keyboard to move up and down, left, right, zoom in, zoom out, and this is above yet, but we'll go through that in a sec. So cycle views, I use my yoke. So um, joystick one, because remember we chose joystick one in the previous um, section, and button 53 is the next camera. So next camera basically is um, going downwards. Um, and again, I will show you once we start adding um, the different camera views. Okay. And then previous camera is to go back up. So next camera is going down. Previous camera is going up. Next category is moving from virtual cockpit to aircraft and then aircraft to world. Okay. And then previous category is aircraft back to virtual cockpit. 
again fairly straightforward so I've set those all up on my yoke on my hat switch so the keyboard views are to move um, your cameras to zoom them in go left right etc etc so things like this yeah so you need to just map what you want so for going up like that I've got page up for going down I've got page down to go forward I just use my arrow keys to go left to go right so I just use I mainly use those so I use one two three four five six sorry six I use six keys up down forward back left and right okay pretty straightforward let's get back into there and I can't remember now apologies what T and H was for why I've got it in H I'm, I'm, I'm want to say it's because I've got it in on the hatch mode as well mm, I can't remember why I had H anyway we're not going to worry about that too much so there you go guys that's the the keyboard and uh, and joystick and the cycle view so you need to just map whatever you want okay as I said to you um, forward backwards left right you just put it in there if you want to do it on your joystick you just do it on your joystick um, and then again your cycle view you just do it accordingly to that okay pretty straightforward and then the last um, oops, the last thing we want to look is general settings this is basically um, the speeds the different type of speeds I don't play around with this too much um, these are the different speeds you want within the virtual cockpit and within the aircraft the one I find is um, cinema I use cinema those are nice views uh, easy um, sorry not nice views easy speeds um, I don't like having too much of a, uh, a fast speed in the in the virtual cockpit outside the aircraft I like it a lot quicker so what I do is if you look at um, cinema view yeah so we click cinema you can see that's um, that's a fairly nice nice view uh, I don't I don't like it when it's too quick within um, within the cockpit okay but if we go to the other side view now so if we just click we click the other side view yeah what I do as well I click cinema and then you can see there that's a, that's a that's a fairly good speed as well but if you want to speed it up, I, say I like to speed it up a little bit so all you do is on the aircraft mode you just click the little speed here so I just change it there so you just change it to whatever you want you can see that's a lot quicker now a lot quicker if you want it even quicker I think you can there we go I watch uh, I watch some videos and some streams and I know some guys have it really quick but that, that's actually too quick but I'm just showing you an example there okay so again that's for you to play around yeah and then you've got a few other you've got a few other um, options here as well you can just tick those hide cursor when middle button is is pressed so there we go you see you can see my mouse now but when I click uh, my middle mouse button to move around it disappears okay disable mouse and keyboard control when FSX is unfocused uh, I've always just had that tick and disable easy cam when slew mode is active I've just had that as default you know what I think now that I think of it I think I just had these as default actually didn't touch these at all okay and the CC is when you hear that noise when I press my middle mouse button 
that is me so that's when you want to turn around when you want to look around like that I used to have it on all the time it used to drive me mad and then I think one of my viewers said yeah turn it off I was like can you turn that noise off I was like yes so you just click it off over there okay so guys to be honest I think if I remember these I just kept default um, that I did have on those two I had on as I said but I've switched them off and then the speeds that's for you to to um, to mess about with okay so those are your options fairly straightforward the last one is the track IR um, I will be getting track IR I think I am going to get it because I've been doing a lot more gaming uh, where I need a track IR I think if a lot of you watch my streams I do um, I've been streaming project cars and I've been doing a lot of Euro truck so I think I am I can justify sort of getting track IR now I um, it, it was something I I didn't really want with um, with flying I was quite happy just moving my you know my head movement with the middle mouse button um, so I will be getting track IR because I can use that now for all those different games um, so I haven't really I will play around with this once I get the track IR or I will look at some videos myself but yeah unfortunately I can't go through this with you um, I think it's fairly straightforward enable track IR um, and then that's the smoothness as well so I'm guessing when you're looking around that is um, how quick you want it so again I will play with that and uh, and see what how it works once I get track IR okay let's go on to the actual cameras now so what you want to do is let's do um, oh, and we've come right out of this now so let's zoom let's go right and in, back in so what we want to do is is get back into oh, back into the aircraft yeah I don't know why that doesn't sometimes it goes back okay so we're back in the aircraft so basically what you want to do Again, guys, this is all personal preference. Um, it's how you want to set it up. But what I normally do is I sort of get myself lined up with um, with the yoke. Um, and I know I haven't. I've never flown a. This is the the Carinata Bonanza. I've never flown a Bonanza. But I know, for example, um, the Piper Warrior, which I have flown in real life, and the there's no one five two you feel very close up to the yoke so it's just how realistic you want it to be but what I normally do is I sort of see where I'm sitting line up with the yoke okay so there you go that looks a good position you then click two on your numpad okay and you'll hear a beeping sound that may that basically means you're in edit mode okay there we go so now you can move around okay up down you know all those keys we went through and what I also like to do is if you look in the top right hand corner you can see the zoom going in I'm just using my 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 mouse scroll so what you want to do is I like around about the 70 71 so you want to zoom in get to about 70 71 and then move back with your your different keys there we go that looks pretty cool uh, maybe a little bit to the left there okay so there you go that's your first position and you click two and that will stay in your final position alright so what you want to do is go back to easy dock and in there you say add camera okay and we call it pilot view okay and we click OK and there we go that's your first view alright now we want uh, our overhead okay that doesn't really the Bonanza doesn't really have an overhead but you know what? we'll add a um, we'll add a uh, another camera for the overhead so what you basically do there is 
you can right click on the pilot view the one we just made and you say clone camera with effects okay and I'll go through the effects once I've gone through the different cameras and there we go okay so now we got pilot view one what we want to do we want to um, just so you just double click on it to change it and we say overhead okay but remember we cloned it as the pilot view so it's still going to be in that in the pilot view okay so what you do now is you click two again you can see the overhead is highlighted all right so now what we want to do is we want to go to the overhead here now so maybe we want to just as I said this is not the best for an overhead because we don't really have an overhead but so there's the overhead there okay and you click you happy with that you click two and there we go edit mode is out now so now we have the pilot view and we have the overhead view all right let's just do one more now we want um, the dials or the radio stack or um, autopilot whatever okay so you can either go back to pilot view and click clone camera with effects all right so it puts us back in there we can double click on it and we can say um, uh, autopilot or radio to do radio okay so there we go click out of it so what you do again now is you click 2 so we're in edit mode and now we can go down to our radios there we go. So you're happy with radios? You click two and we'll stay in that mode. So now we've got three now. So we've got pilot view, overhead, and radio view. Very easy. Okay, so that's how to set up your, your virtual cockpit and your different camera views. Okay, what we'll do now is We'll go to the a a aircraft view and we'll do, we'll do, um, I'll show you two um, different angles as well. So all you do, you click aircraft, okay. Now what you want to do now, again, is find the position you want. Oh, we still got it in that, f in that really fast speed again. Let me just change that quickly. So what was it under? Uh, was it under general settings? Yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what you want to do? Um, we can say add camera. So do um, what? What's the first one? Uh, side view. Let's just do side view just to make it. Okay. So what you do is we on the side. We on that. M we're on that um, our side view. Click two. Okay, get to the side view. The other thing you want to do, look at the zoom again. You want to have it a hundred percent. Okay, you want the zoom to be a hundred percent. I find if you out of a hundred percent, the plane goes out of proportion. You get this long nose or the short nose. Uh, the wings look short or long. So make sure when you do your outside views that you are in 1.00 zoom. So pretty much 100%. Okay. And then once you've got that, you can do your side view. So you want a side view like that. Okay. And you click 2. So we want to add another view. I really like this view. So what you want to do is just click the next one down say add camera and I like this um, sort of back tail view if you want to call it that you guys name it whatever you want okay so once we're in there now we press 2 for edit mode remember the zoom again so we want to zoom into 1 
just to get a good perspective of okay you can feel I can feel the cameras a little too quick as well but again you can just go to your settings so there we go that's a nice view I really like that view you can nice for approaches taking taking off etc okay and you click to again to stop the edit mode okay but you can see now we are actually in and I will go through those we are actually in um, mouse look which is horrible I will explain that to you in a bit but there you go okay so you've got your side view and you've got your back tail view all right so those are our five camera views now so we got pilot view, overhead, radio, we got side view, we got back tail view. Okay? And remember, see I'm using so let me just move my mouse away. So I'm using my yoke now on my hatch hatch um hatch pad. So I'm going up down and then across and then like that. Okay? All right. To finish off, I'm just going to show you um, the different views here, the different uh, buttons up the top here. Um, again, guys, these are all personal preference, what you guys want. Um, I'll show you what I use, um, and then you guys can make a decision. All right, the first one is the point-to-point. -point. So basically, point-to-point -point is the smooth transition between the different camera views. Okay? If you don't want that, if you don't want it like sort of flowing, you can untick it and it just jumps to the next one. So let's have a look. You see? So let's take that off. Take that off. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So it just jumps. So if you want point to point from, um, say, point to point to overhead then you can put that on but you don't want uh, point to point going from overhead to radio so there you go it just clicks you see so we've got point point to point or that smooth transition going from pilot view to overhead but from radio so you can change each one I don't know I'm quite on some of my planes I, it's a little strange on some of my planes I like the point to point on some of them I just like clicking to them straight away I think I think I like them clicking straight away if I have a lot of cameras. So if you've only got like four or five, then use the transition. But if you have loads, and I know some people have got loads, and I actually have got loads on some of my planes, is that I like going I like going directly to it. Okay. The next one, so that's point to point. The next one is this 360 button. So at the moment we got it out, we don't have it in 360. So basically it just allows you to view at a certain angle. So 360 allows you to go right around, okay? Where if you untick 360, it doesn't allow you to go all around. So it stops you there and you got to go back like that. So it doesn't let you go around and round and round. Okay? I don't use that one. I don't like that one. Okay, next one is point of view. Um, I have point of view set on all my uh, all my cameras. Basically, um, it just allows you to sort of go left or right without actually looking around. Yeah, so that's your your point of view. So if you put your middle mouse button there into that angle, again. It's just your point of view. It allows you to basically scroll left or right without you actually having to your head turn around or looking at different directions. Okay, until you move your middle mouse button. So that's the one I like. I have that on all mine. Um, this mouse look is horrible. That's what you um, you saw a little bit earlier. So it, it basically it allows you to look with your mouse. Uh, yeah, with the mouse. I don't like that at all. Okay, I don't have that on. Um, Z is zoom. I don't have that as well. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually looked at that. Um, I, I think what it does, it allows you to scroll with your mouse 
with your mouth button, uh, which is not always good because I know um, if you need to turn your dials or you need to change things and that is zoomed, you're going to zoom in while you're changing your dials. So I have zoom off. Uh, track IR is if you're using track IR, um, obviously remember there was that setting there, then obviously that allows you to use track IR within that view. Okay. I don't have track I track IR yet, so um, I have mine off. All right, then we have these three buttons here. Okay, um, the first one is called random effect. Uh, the other one is dynamic head movement, and the third one is, if I remember, camera res uh, assurance. I think it is. Oh, I can't remember. I don't use it. Um, I actually don't use that one, but it's camera something. Yeah, camera something. Basically, what um, random effects does is it gives you. So when you when we going down the runway, you'll see all the little bumps and the shakes and the dashboard shaking. That's basically what it is. Okay, I quite like having it in pilot view yeah and I like having it in um, some of my side views depending what I side view sometimes if I have a wing view I quite like having the random effect because that you can see the plane shaking and it makes it a little bit more uh, realistic okay so the the random um, effects is yeah the bumps and the jolts and all that type of thing uh, the dynamic head movement I don't use that as well um, that is, uh, like it says, when a um, bit of head movement. So when you're landing the plane, um, you, you, your, your head will sort of move a little bit. Uh, I don't really use that. I, I don't know how effective it is, um, but I don't use that at all. Um, and then the, the camera one. I think the camera one is only good if... Um, let's, uh, let's have a look. I think the camera one is is very good if you have um, a view like this. Okay, like so. Basically, you pretty much got um, a camera attached to the wing, or you've got a camera attached to the back by the rudder, or by your elevators. Uh, or wherever okay and basically what the effect does besides getting the plane like so with the other side effect you would use this random effect you know the random effect where as I said the plane shakes and bumps but if you've got camera sorry and I can't remember what the R stands for I think it's camera um, should have looked it up but anyway guys basically what it does it allows you to um, it allows you to to see the actual camera so the actual camera is vibrating as well instead of the plane <coughs> so obviously with the camera if you mount a camera on your plane obviously that camera is going to be shaking as well because all the wind and the turbulence and all that type of thing so that's basically what it does okay so just to clarify for so for my views for pilot view, I have point to point, I have point of view, um, and I have random effect, and I leave everything else. And then, depending on my as side views, I have point to point, um, point of view, and then I have random, uh, I have that off as well. But if I have like the camera on the wing or the back, as I said, then I have random and I have um, the, the, the camera one as well. Okay, pretty straightforward, really easy. And then just to finish off, if you guys flying a lot of GA plane and you want to have the same cameras for all your GA planes, what you need to do is go file and set save camera set. Okay, and that basically saves your camera. Or if you someone sends you a camera set what you do you click load load camera set 
and then you can load your different ones. Okay, fairly straightforward, very easy. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I think I've covered everything. Um, if you've got any questions, as always, leave um, your comments below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it wherever you can share it. Um, and yeah, easy doc. Great bit of software. Um, I didn't fly with easy doc for a long time. Uh, and then when I flew with it, uh, or when I bought it, I, I can't fly without it basically now. I uh, Yeah, it's great. Um, it, it just really adds that extra realism and um yeah you know that just it's it's great just to view your plane at different angles you know why are you flying you can zoom in and look closely the different uh, you know parts of the plane you can zoom into you know the pilot uh, yeah you can do all all sorts of things so cool alrighty and that's it guys thank you for watching as always as i said if you've got any comments uh, any suggestions if I've done something wrong uh, or something's not quite right please let me know and uh, I'll uh, correct it or um, I'll have a look and see uh, and see what I can do guys I will see you next time take it easy um, and I'll see you soon bye bye